Hey everyone, Blank Dash here, and today we're gonna take a look into file transfer again, but this time using Samba or some service, you know, kind of related to SMB in this case. So we're gonna take a look at two different things. One is Samba, one is using Impacker. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we have to do is to, uh, you know, kind of make sure if the Samba service is installed on your device, and we can do that by doing apt install Samba which is going to install Samba in your device if it's not. Um, if it's already, it's going to tell you that it's already installed. Um, the next thing that we have to do is to configure Samba here. If I do um, ls of and then grab for SMB, uh, we can see the service is not running as of this time. Um, so we can really check the status of the service. Service SMB key status is going to tell the status we can see the status is is pretty much dead as of now before starting of the service what we'll do is be careful configure someone such a way that you know it's able to transfer files so what we'll do is we'll do uh, you know make a temporary directory called smb you can call it anything that you need and let's put some files so here i have a file called secret.txt let's do secret.txt let's copy that to temp samba or smb we also have to make sure that the uh, you know the temporary folder is accessible by everyone um, we have only read write execute permission for the root user and the rest of the users you know they can read and some of these can execute so we just give permission for you know all users um, just to SMB, um, we can see that here as well, right? So let's go over and say chmod 777 temp SMB. Now if I do ls-l on temp SMB, we can see all users have read, write, and executable access to directory. So let's go over and configure the Samba service, uh, which is located in etc Samba. And it's called there are a bunch of different files, one of GDB commands, smp.conf and TLS. Uh, we are going to focus on smb.conf file. So let's go over smb.conf and this should open smb configuration file and the, um, this is kind of the default file. I'm at the bottom of the pages of now and you can see there are several different services that are already, you know, kind of configured. So we can see a printer share. Um, we can see a print share, something like that. If you wanted to configure um, a share, all you have to do is kind of copy this. Uh, I'm using BIM to jump into visual mode. Yank it, then paste it. So we have a T. Um, and the one more thing that we can do is maybe like, let's say, configuring Samba. Okay. Now we just edit certain parts here. Let's say you want to edit the comment part. Let's say file transfer. And the path, if you remember the folder that we created in the temporary directory, we'll do temp smb. And is it browsable? Yes. Is it read-only? No, because we want the other users to write stuff. Is it guessed okay? Yes. So you just turn on the features that you need. It's simple as that, no answers, and then it's done. Um, we can add a comment here if you wanted to. Um, this is a Samba for demo. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So we've done that. Um, we can also do tell just to confirm, right? So we can see comment that path temp SMB, it's it's not read only, so it's read write. Um, guests can log in and it's browsable. Now let's go over and start the SMB service because if you remember at this point in time, the SMB service is inactive. So let's do service SMBD restart, or you can do start to start the service. And let's do check the status now. Okay, so we can see the SMB service is active and running. Now what we have to do is, um, let's go ahead and check 
if the service is running, if the port is listening, and things like that. Okay, we can see several different SMBD services running. That's a good sign. And all you have to do is mount this uh, folder over there, right? So you can see this is the temporary directory. I wanted to mount this temporary directory over the Windows machine. Um, so let's go over. You can, you can do that in, in, in a lot of different ways. One of them is using um, command prompt. You can see something like net use and then do a star. Um, the star is basically say, you know, you can assign any letter to it. If you want it to assign like an X, you can do X. If you want it to assign Y, you can do a Y, whatever it means. So what is that? Um, so what basically is this X and Ys? It's basically the, you know, uh, the, the mount point. So you might have seen like local disk D, local disk G, something like that. Is this going to be local disk X or local disk Y, something like that? Um, if you don't have a choice, just do a star and that's going to be fine. And then mention the IP address. Let's figure out the IP address of the machine. Um, 10, 0, 2, 2. Let's go over and say 2, 2. And do, uh, what was the folder name? public. This is something that we have to, um, you know, uh, consider because it says printer here. So I'm just going to edit the file really quick and let's actually change the name over here. Let's call it um, hacking. And let's service SMBT to start to restart the service. Let's call it hacking and you can see this says dry wires connected successfully. So if you go over to your machine, open your my computers, now you can see the dry wires mounted and if you open that um, you can see all the files there. Like you can see there's a secret file that says hack the planet, stuff like that. And, and this is really two way, like for instance, you know, I can I can even create a file here, which means I have sort of a write function, right? So I can say, um, come on, you can say, please subscribe, hello YouTube, and the file is saved, which means we have write permission. And if I go over and say cat temp, SMB, do I have the file? We have the please subscribe file. You can see hello YouTube, right? So that's one way to do it, um, you know. Um, the other way if you wanted to mount is by using run. So um, you can just go to run and then say, you know, um, 10022, which is the IP address. And then, you know, just do that. And it's going to open uh, pretty much the same share file. So that's using Samba. And in most cases, you have to do this if you kind of wanted to loot something from a victim's device, or if you wanted to, uh, you know, collect logs from the device, or um, you know, if you wanted to exfiltrate some kind of a data, right? Now let's take a look into other way that we can do it. Um, in most of your machines, like you, you know, Kali or Parrot, you'd have something called Impacket, and Impacket has you know, something called SMB server, um, not the client, but the server. So there are, you know, a few different SMB stuff uh, versus the server, and this can be used to kind of create SMB. Um, and one of the really nice features that it has is it also has support for SMB version 2. Um, so we can use that switch if that's something that you really need, because some machines will not allow SMB version 1 to connect. Um, so let's go ahead and configure that. It's, it's going to it's going to be super easy. Um, all we have to do is give a share name, give a share path, and then it's done. Like for instance, if I wanted to share this folder, right? This one is in, in root, white hero, and, and samba. So if I wanted to share this folder, I would do impacted SMB server. Um, let's do SMB server. Let's use SMB to support. Um, let's give it a name. Let's call it bad SMB, and then let's give in the um, path root documents, and that's in Samba directory. So this is the folder that I wanted to share. Let's wrap it around, 
and hopefully this should work. So now the service is running. Let's go over. Let's see if we can mount this using PowerShell. So we're going to use PowerShell to mount the directory. Um, so you can open up PowerShell and type in new ps drive. You can give it a name, and the name is going to be anything that you know of, of your choice. I'll go with bad SMB here. Bad SMB. Let's do the ps provider. Um, let's do file system. And all you have to do is mention root, and then mention the uh, you know directory that you need to mount along with the IP address and zero two two and let's give the name bad SMB and it's mounted. Um, now we'll be able to CD in this directory and uh, we'll be able to you know read files and write files into it. I can do CD SMB with a colon and then we're done. Um, so we can see that it's secret.txt and let's type in secret.txt it says hack the planet so that is two ways how you can share files from your docking machine to a windows machine in the next video we'll see how you can share you know files from a windows machine to your attacking machine using smbs service so that's it for today and see you guys over another video